every time I think of you, I think about all the many doors you knocked on, all the envelopes you stuffed, <laughs> all the people you cursed out for me when I went home. <laughs> she do be cursing now. <laughs> and all the prayers you prayed after you cursed them out. <laughs> I really appreciate you. Thank you. I also want to thank this wonderful union for what you do, the Maryland Pacified Employees Union, for what you do every day to lift up people and to help people in their day-to-day -day living. A lot of people ask the question, tell me, why do you love unions so much? I love unions so much because my mother and father were former sharecroppers down in Manning, South Carolina. And in 1944, right after they had gotten married, they made a decision to move to Baltimore. My father was making 15 cents a day, working from sunup to sundown, six days a week. Come on now. Some of y'all may not be able to relate, but that's real. My mama was making about 10 cents a day, from sunup to sundown. And I shall never forget my mother telling me that even the day that they wanted to get married, my mother, they had to get permission from the landowners. And my mother, my mother, they had to get permission from the landowners. And uh, so the landowners, they wanted to get married on a Saturday. And the landowner said, no, nah, y'all got to get married on a Friday, and you got 45 minutes to do it. Mm -hmm. And my mother worked on the land over there, and my father worked on the land over there. And they got with my Aunt Geraldine and said, we'll meet you in the middle of the field, in the middle field, with a preacher. You come, Geraldine, and we'll get married. Well, they got married, and my mother went back to, to work. And because she was 15 minutes late, she was whipped by the landowner. Mm -hmm. And so when people were asked the question, where do I get my passion? All right. All right. Mm -hmm. This is real. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, when you see me on CNN and MSNBC and all that, I never, ever forget from whence I have come. Never. All right. And it makes me feel so good that today that woman that got whipped will be able to turn on her television and watch her son introduce the next president of the United States. I don't usually get emotional. But I'm going to tell you, when I think about mm. what people have been through, That's all the people, and you know who I'm talking about. Some of them were your mothers and fathers. Grandmothers and grandfathers that prayed powerful prayers and that had faith when you couldn't even figure out where the faith was coming from. Mm. But yet and still, day after day, they got up and they did what they had to do. And they then went to church and then they came out of church and then they took care of the sick, and then they went back to church, and then they went to work, and then they took care of their families, and they never appeared on the front page of the Washington Post, they never mentioned them on WTOP radio, they never came up on the Afro front page, but yet and still, day after day, they gave it everything they had. So I come by here to thank you for standing.